Now here's an interesting outcrop for the day. It's a beautiful example of the difference in deformation between veins that are parallel to the main compression during deformation and those that are perpendicular. So let's come and have a closer look. I'm not sure what the original rock type was here. Judging by what's around here, it could have been either an amphibolite or possibly a rhyolite. You can't tell now because the entire rock's been subject to extremely strong albite alteration. That's why it's all white. But you can still see a vague relic of the foliation in this linear pattern here. So that tells us that the main compression direction was this way and these veins here were perpendicular to that compression and these ones here were parallel to it. So you can see the difference in the deformation. The ones that were perpendicular to the compression have just been boudinaged a little bit, get a little bit skinnier there, a little bit fatter there. So they've been stretched in that direction but not folded. The one that was parallel to the compression direction has been squeezed this way and folded into almost isoclinal folds. They're probably part of the same generation of veins because you can see they've got the same quartz texture and they actually join up here. That's not a vein that cuts this one and goes the other side. It's a splay that came out of this vein and went off in a different direction. So it's just reacted very differently to the compression than this one. So just because one set of veins is folded and the other is planar, you can't automatically assume that they're different ages. If one set is parallel to foliation and the other cuts it at a high angle, they could be the same age. They just responded differently to the same deformation.